Hi kitten, it's me Karen and I have to call you kitten because that's the way I remember you as a little girl. Ever since we've been in touch and you talked to me about leaving Burke's Road that terrible day and having not been back since, I thought it might be a nice idea to do a video walking up Burke's Road. So I decided to do that today. So we are on Broadway, just over on the end where Burke's Road meets Broadway. And we're almost to the bottom of Burke's Road right now. If you look across the street, uh, the place with the red roof that's called the Park Center, that's where the Regent Theater used to be. And this place on the corner used to be Food Center. Now, I'm not sure if that was the case when you left. And this would have been Tommy Coon's dance hall. And I saw the Burke's Road sign. So at the bottom of the street, it pretty much looks like it did when we were kids. Not a lot, not a big change. I remember that house being there. I think Shannon Reed lived there. And that red house used to be a brown house. Um, the red apartment building there on the left used to be green, and I think Pretty's used to own it. A lot of these other houses coming up, I'm not sure. My friend Glenda Miller used to live in that beige one on the right, but again, I don't think that you would know her because we were behind you in school. So we're going farther up Burke's Road, and if you remember correctly, the bottom part of Burke's Road was paved, and then the steeper part where we lived had no pavement. The White House with the black shutters to your left. Uh, the Martins lived there. There was Paula and Joanne. I don't know if you remember them or not. They did go to Broadway School. Um, and we're moving farther up the street. The little yellow house you just saw, that was Bader's. Uh, and I've turned around now so you could sort of see out the bay and the mountains in the background. I think Volkies lived in that house there. And a lot of these other ones uh, I don't recognize. So we're almost, we've almost reached the point where Prince Street meets Burke's Road. Uh, yes, that's where we are now. Ezekiel's used to live right in that area. That house is gone and the new, newer homes are there. And now you're about to see across Prince Street and a lot of changes there. A lot of the houses aren't there anymore. That white house was Spontaneo's and I think that was brown when we were growing up. Spontaneo's lived on one side and the French's lived on the other side. And the next little house, uh, the little yellow one, here I am, I'm going around in circles again. I'll just wait till we get back to where we were going up the hill. And so now we've reached the part that normally would not have been paved. And this little yellow house to the left is owned by Albert Noseworthy. Actually, he just passed away uh, last week. Um, see the beige house on the right? That's Michael Ryan's house. That was Ryan's at one point in time, but he tore the house down and built a new one. Uh, to your left would have been Lafitte's house, which was a big house, and so now it's no longer there, so it changes the view, and then that's Mitchell's in there. Nanny and Poppy Mitchell lived in that house. Uh, we're just about to where you lived, but the street goes, that's Charlie Webb, sorry, that's Charlie Webb's house there. I'm sure you love to hear that name. Um, and to the right, where the red car is, that's the driveway. That would have been Ryan's driveway as it was back in the day. But of course, everything has changed and there's a street going across um, just above that red car. That red house in the background, that actually is up on Webster Place. Uh, the house that you see with the balcony on it to the left, the sort of a beigey yellow house, I'm heading up that way closer now because this was our driveway and the, the beige house with the deck on it. Wait now, I'll, I think I go back that way again. Uh, no, that's Michael Ryan's house. Hmm. Anyway, mom's little house was in the yard that you just saw. Wait a minute, here we go. Okay, the house with the deck was Uncle Hubert's house and the one down in the yard was mom's house. And that would be, right on the corner would have been Clara Webb's house, but that also has been taken down. So there's mom's house off in the distance, and Clara Webb's house would be right in front of that. That's the corner of her, what used to be her yard. All these 
yards have changed and the fences have been taken down. But anyway, I just thought I'd take you up there. That's as far as the road goes now. So we're on our way back through town. We're on Broadway and um, heading towards home. Anyway, Kitty, I hope this made you feel a little nostalgic. I'm not sure if uh, you recognize a lot of the places. We're just heading down around the turn now where more Swirskis used to be. Uh, that used to be the valley, the bottom of the valley, but that's a mall now. And to your left would have been the Canadian Tire Building, but it's a medical center now. And Rudolph's Bakery would have been there. And there's the mill to your left. Um, and this is just downtown Cornerbrook. I think it probably does look a little different than when you lived here. And I think we're taking a right and going up Mount Bernard, and that's where the Catholic Church and Regina High School, etc. Anyway, Kitty, have a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. God bless.